Obrigada. Thank you very much indeed. Dear colleagues, we know all too well that climate change is a big challenge that must be faced. And this is why this Parliament must be the boldest institution in stemming climate change. We know that Europeans are now doing the most uh, to try and counter climate change. We are seeing um, artists' work being destroyed and um, shows being cancelled, and we need to do what we can for the climate cause. It's not actually through destroying cultural heritage that we protect environmental um, considerations. Now, we are preparing for the forthcoming COP27. Against the backdrop of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the climate emergency becomes even more serious. Besides um, spreading death and uh, disaster, uh, Putin's invasion is also responsible for uh, keeping coal-fired power st uh, stations online for longer than planned and ensuing environmental damage. And we, however, can bring energy prices down through investment in uh, renewables. Repower EU is stepping up EU ambition in the field of um, climate ambition and climate objectives, trying to bring about a 25 uh, percent cut by 2030. So we need to call, ask Council and Commission what is missing now so that we can really meet the Parliament's ambitious, ambitions in this field. We ask Commission and Council what they think of the, um, the general objective that's been set and also the role of the private sector in this transition. We also not mustn't forget adaptation and resilience uh, measures as well. My dear colleagues, in spite of the conflict um, caused by Russia, we need to um, re minimize our reliance on fossil fuels as much as possible. In, we must ensure that we have solidarity and responsibility in the Iberian Peninsula. And we must say that anyone blocking interconnections between Spain and Portugal to try and sell more expensive energy in elsewhere in Europe should be condemned. We have renewable, cheaper sources of energy right now in Europe. The Macron government are now the face of European egotism. We must meet our objectives when it comes to public and private investment in um, climate adaptation and mitigation because we're going to see very serious consequences and have indeed seen such impacts. The poorest uh, in our society must be supported in a transition towards uh, renewable and clean sources of energy and we need to invest in clean tech. The EPP believes in decarbonisation whilst the far left wants reindustrialization and uh, the destruction of our economy. When it comes to the areas that cause a lot of emissions, those need to play a bigger role in climate mitigation. It shouldn't all be left to the national governments, especially when we see that many of these governments are not doing enough. If we look, for example at what's happening um, in Portugal, where the government is not acting to counter div uh, desertification and the constant recurring theme of forest fires claiming lives as well. We believe, we firmly believe that we can do better. We have a great history, but it, we can also be a country that makes a great leap forward towards a brighter future. We have a duty to pass on a better world to future generations. Thank you. I would like to give a floor for the Council to Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Bartosz. 